Hey guys, in this week's video, uh, I'm going to share with you setting up a Mist King system. I've had one for numerous years on uh, these three enclosures. That guy right there, it's been set up since 2014, so going on six years. I got this one for the outdoor enclosures, but found out that doing a patio misting system was a little bit more convenient for me, so I finally dusted it off and brought it in here and set it up on these four enclosures. So I will share with you uh, some of the trials and tribulations of setting up uh, that system. And then I had my uh, awesome wife help me prune this palm in a gargoyle gecko enclosure. So we split it up down here and in the back right hand corner of the two false chameleon enclosures. And I also had to do some uh, maintenance on the cork bark that was pulling away because I don't think the little uh, double sided adhesive tape could handle the uh, humidity from the frequent sprayings that I do on those enclosures. So those three things, uh, the new nitinols eating on their own, the Miss King system and doing some maintenance and pruning on the two gargoyle gecko enclosures. All right, the important thing is everything has got to be tight. When you push these fittings in, just keep going until you can't go anymore. So this is the valve from the water reservoir, which is just a five gallon bucket. And the instructions will tell you where to put the O-ring and drill your hole and all that good stuff. And uh, so now the water would flow if it was in there. And if I was doing something, I would turn the valve and turn the water off. I'm gonna leave it on, but all these, you got to make sure you push them in and they are tight so let's uh, so keep pushing even if you think you got it all the way done let's see So, leg one, this will be the first aquarium, had to do a T here with a plug on it, hopefully that'll work, I haven't used a plug before, and now we'll have to go up here, go to the double spray valve on top of those guys, gonna come over here, a single, a single, and it's got to loop back around, come down, and plug into here. So hopefully I, I have enough tubing to make that happen. So I'm gonna go ahead and start running some stuff and we'll film a little bit as we go, just to show you what I do. I got my little uh, surveillance camera up there. I'm gonna keep an eye on the whole thing. I'll uh, cut some, splice some of that video in there. But uh, let's see if we can get this Miss King set up on four of my indoor enclosures. Mork and Mindy aren't happy that I'm screwing around at their enclosure, but I just want to, they actually make plastic that you can put down with holes in it, and I'll show you. I got an example over on my dragon strand enclosures, but I don't have them, and I didn't feel like, well, not that I didn't feel like it, but they're expensive, so let's see. Take the fitting off. And 
you go. Push that through like that. And now I'm gonna take a little piece of duct tape, put it over the hole like I did down here, just to provide it some extra support. Cut the hole in the duct tape, and then those nozzles on the top cage will be good to go. We'll be right back. All right, so a couple days later, I got my uh, extra tubing. The problem is that this line right here was too taut, and so I couldn't get that connection right here tight enough. So you push them in, and it, uh, you got to push them in tight to get make them watertight. And then you push this little flange in. Oh, yeah, kind of do it. There you go, and that's how you get the tubing out. So I'm gonna cut a bigger piece of tubing to go from there up to there. And then we'll plug this bad boy in again and see if I have a misting system for these four enclosures. So we'll be back in a second and I'll plug it in and you guys will get to see me try to scramble if I got leaks. Be back in a minute. All right. So I'm going to go through and just sh shore these up a little bit. But everything is running well. Nice mist going on. No leaks. It's on auto. I mean, it's on on, so I got to put it on auto. I don't see any leaks in any of the fittings, but I'm going to tack these down a little bit to keep them from shaking so much all right here we go awesome mist king misting system set up on my four enclosures Whew.
finally Gitmo uh, began eating on his own. I just was in here messing around, so he's uh, pretty stressed out. So we're just going to check him out for a minute, but he's doing great. Always good to see them eat on their own. Got to fatten him up. Stomach's still a little thin, but it's uh, definitely uh, less stressful for him to eat out of a dish than it is for me to be... Uh, jamming stuff in his face with tongs to get him to defensively bite and eat that way. Easy big guy. <laughs> Definitely uh, getting uh, getting some energy back. The Siri. And the rescue as of yet to be named is also eating. Definitely a little bit on the stress side. Easy. So I'm gonna leave him on. He's in a temporary 29 gallon terrarium. So I can get him something nicer. Wow, look at how the color changes from green to almost black in a matter of seconds. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. Uh, as always, if you like what I'm doing, um, you <laughs> like me rambling through some videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that little bell when you get notifications for when I upload. And until next time, take care.